Marines have served aboard Paris Island since 1891, and more than one million Marines have been trained here. They have departed Paris Island for combat and conflicts throughout the world. The misty wheat fields of Bella Wood, the gritty beaches of the Pacific, the snow-capped mountains of Korea, the sweltering jungles of Vietnam, the parched desert sands of Kuwait, Iraq, and Afghanistan, and every other climate place where Marines have sacrificed for country and corps. The first called upon, the first to arrive, and the first to fight. The Marine Corps, the nation's force in readiness, has answered the call to numerous hotspots around the globe, showing the world once again that the United States Marine Corps is America's premier 911 force. Marching onto the parade ground is Company A. They began their training on August 25, 2018, and today's graduation marks the end of a demanding and difficult 12 weeks of training. These young men you see marching before you have met and mastered the challenge of recruit training. They have qualified with the service rifle and received basic warrior training. They have completed over 200 hours of academic instruction and participated in a rigorous physical training program that has developed their strength and stamina for the challenges ahead. Core values have been instilled in each of them, the meaning of honor, courage, and commitment. Marching before you this morning are 446 success stories, each of them a testament to the physical courage, dogged determination, and unyielding commitment to excellence that define the title Marine. This is what they have striven and persevered for, the right to walk across this parade deck as Marines. They have earned this title through demonstrated courage and achievement, and now join the proud ranks of over one million Marines who have graduated from Paris Island. From this day on, they will carry on the proud legacy and history of the United States Marine Corps. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marines of Company A. The platoons are being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact position for the ceremony.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove all hats for the playing of our national anthem. Thank you. 